This is problem number one on the practice problems for quest number one. Solve each of the following equations. Write down all algebraic steps you take for full credit. A, 2 equals 4 minus z over 3. So the first thing I'll do is subtract 4 from both sides. And then we're going to get rid of that denominator by multiplying both sides by 3. And then finally, multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1 to get z equals 6. Part B, 3 times 8 plus 2d equals 30 minus 7 times d minus 1. First, I'll distribute to get rid of those parentheses. The 3 goes in, copy the 30, and then the 7 goes in. And I've made a mistake that's really, really easy to make. That mistake is right here because that 7 actually has a subtraction sign in front of it. So in a sense, that negative distributes through. And this actually should be a plus 7 here. OK, then we'll get all the d's over to one side. I'll move the d's to the left. So I'm going to add 7d to both sides. And then I'll combine the 30 and the 7. And then we'll move the 24 over there by subtracting it from both sides. And then finally divide both sides by the number in front of the d, which is 13. And we get d equals 1. Part C. 8 thirds times x minus 5 equals 2 fifths times x minus 4. So you could distribute the fractions through both parentheses. Uh, that would get rid of the parentheses, just like we did up above. Um, if you're comfortable, I think it's actually easier to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator. Lowest common denominator of all the denominators you see, there's a 3 and a 5. So the lowest common denominator is actually the product of those two numbers, 15 in this case. So I'm going to copy the original equation again. I'm going to multiply both sides by that lowest common denominator of 15. So I'll put a 15 times over here and a 15 times over here. And just in case we need to see it as a fraction, we'll divide both by 1. And then we cancel. So on the left-hand side, the 15 and the 3 reduce, and you just get a 5 up there. And on the right-hand side, the 15 and the 5 reduce, and you're just left with a 3. And so I'm going to multiply the 5 and the 8 in the front here and get 40. And the x minus 5 hasn't gone anywhere. It's still in parentheses. And then in the front here, 3 times 2 is 6. And then still the parentheses. And now that we've gotten rid of the fractions, we're going to distribute the, the numbers through the parentheses. And let's move the 6x to the left-hand side by subtracting. So that gives me a 34x. And move the 200 to the right-hand side by adding. So that gives me 176. And then finally divide both sides by 34. And we've got 176 over 34, which is OK. But we can reduce. Both of these numbers are divisible by 2. So it should reduce, and we get 88 over 17. Part D, 4t plus 1 over 3 minus t plus 5 over 6 equals t minus 3 over 6. So it's the same idea here. Again, to get rid of those fractions, we're going to multiply everything by the lowest common denominator. I see a 3, I see a 6, and I see another 6. And the lowest common denominator for those three denominators is just 6. Multiplying everything by 6 will get rid of all the fractions. So let's recopy the original. But we're going to put some space in front of each of the fractions, because that's where we're going to put the LCD. And 
And so in front of all of these fractions, we're going to multiply by 6. 6 times this, 6 times this, and 6 times this. And it might seem like we're doing something different here than we did in the previous problem. In the previous problem, I saw lots of things and lots of things, and yet I only put a single 5 on the one side. Uh, sorry, a single 15 on the one side. And I only put a single 15 there as opposed to putting a 15 in front of this and in front of the x and in front of the 5. But these problems are different in that over here was a multiplication. And so actually this is just one term. And so I multiplied the left side by 15. And that was just one single 15 to go with the one term. But here there's a subtraction. And so actually there are two terms on this side. The first fraction and the second fraction. Those are different terms. And so they each get their own 6. That's why they, it might look a little bit different from part C. So let's go ahead and cancel now. So 6 cancels with the 3 and leaves me with a 2 here. 6 cancels with the 6 completely. I'll put a 1, but you don't need to put anything. And then again, 6 cancels with the 6 completely, and we'll put a 1. And so let me just rewrite what's left. There's a 2. There's a 4t plus 1. There's a minus 1 times t plus 5. And then over here, 1 times t minus 3. And I've made another error here, which is, again, very easy to make. But this 4t plus 1 was one thing up in the numerator. And unless I put parentheses down here, I've lost the fact that it was one thing. So that 2 needs to distribute. And without the parentheses there, it's not going to. Same thing over here. The t plus 5 need, needed parentheses. I didn't need it because it was up in the fraction. That was the way to group that t plus 5 by itself. But we do need it down here. So now we'll distribute through. The 2 comes in. The minus sign comes in and changes both of the signs. And then 1 doesn't do anything on this side, so we'll just copy t minus 3. And now finally it looks pretty easy. So let's combine on the left side. 7t minus 3 equals t minus 3. We'll add 3 to both sides, so we get 7t equals t. And then we'll subtract t from both sides. We want to get all those t's over to the one side. So when we subtract t, we get 6t equals 0, which is perfectly OK. We're going to divide both sides by 6. I'll actually write this step in now because it looks a little funny with the 0 there. We divide both sides by 6. Over here is a t. 0 divided by anything is 0. So t equals 0 is our answer. OK, finally, part E. So we've run out of room here, so I've just put a little note. We're going to go to the next page for part E. 33.9 minus 0.5 times 75 minus 3x equals 0.9. So first thing we'll do is distribute to get rid of those parentheses. Okay, 0.5 times 75 is 37.5. 0.5 times 3 is 1.5. Be really careful about the sign that goes in between. There's a minus and another minus. And together they make a plus in there. And that's still equal to 0 0.9. And then we're going to combine terms. So 33.9 minus 37.5. Just be really careful as you do this. So let's see, what do we get here? I think it's a 0.6. Maybe 3.6. And then we'll copy everything else. And then subtract 3.6 from both sides. And we get negative 2.7. All right, and hopefully you caught my mistake. So the mistake was. Up above, when we did 33.9 minus 37.5, that should have been a negative answer. So this should be negative 3.6. So we actually add 3.6 to both sides. And that gives me 4.5 over here. And then we divide both sides by 1.5. And, and we get x is 3. <laughs>